In this video, I will explain how to resolve a force into oblique components. Let us say we have a force F which acts on a particle, then we can replace this force by two forces P and Q, which together have the same effect on the particle, and then we can say that P and Q are the components of the force F. Note that the angle between the two components is not 90 degrees and therefore, we call them oblique components. If the angle between the two components is 90 degrees, then we call them rectangular components. In this video, we will restrict our discussion to only oblique components. Now, these components are along these directions and suppose we want to resolve the force F into two components which have different directions. Can we do it? Answer is yes. We can construct another parallelogram in which the two sides of the parallelogram are along the desired directions and the diagonal is still the force vector F. So, these two again are the components of the force F and note that the magnitude of these components have changed because their directions have changed compared with the previous case. So, likewise we can construct several parallelograms and I have different components of different magnitudes along different directions. In other words, we can have infinite number of sets of components of this force F. Now, suppose we want to resolve this force F into components along the lines A and B and we do not want to do it by constructing a parallelogram, but instead we want to determine the magnitude of the components by trigonometry, then what are the steps? Well, the first is from the tip of the force F, we draw a line parallel to line B like this. This line is parallel to line B and this intersects the first line A at point C and it gives us the triangle A B C which is familiar to us. This is a force triangle in which one side is the given force F and these two sides represent the force components of the force F. Now, how do we determine magnitude of these two components? By using the triangle rules, we can determine the magnitude of these components F1 and F2. Let us see by taking up a problem, how do we compute the magnitude of the two components. Here in this problem, we have two lines M and N, which are at an angle of 75 degrees. This angle is 75 degrees and we have a force of magnitude 10 K Newtons in this direction. It makes an angle of 30 degrees with line N and 45 degrees with N. We want to resolve this force into two components which are along the two lines and we want to determine magnitude of the two components by using triangle rules. So, as explained in the previous slide, we first draw a line parallel from the tip of the force parallel to line N like this. That line intersects the other line M at point B and that provides us a triangle ABC. The line AC represents the given force of 10 kilo Newton magnitude and these two sides of the triangle would represent the components F1 and F2. This angle of the triangle is 45 degrees given in the problem. This angle is 30 degrees and therefore, that angle ACB would also be 30 degrees because these two lines are parallel to each other and this line intersects it. Therefore, this angle would be equal to this angle. So, we now know the two angles of the triangle and therefore, we can determine the third angle which is 105 degrees and since now we know all the three angles of the triangle and we know one side, we can straight away use the sine rule to determine the magnitude of these two sides that is the magnitude of the two components. So, here is the sine rule which says that 10 kilo Newton divided by the sine of the opposite angle which is sine of 105 degrees is equal to F1 upon the sine of 
the opposite angle which is sine of 30 degrees is also equal to F 2 upon the sine of the opposite angle which is sine 45 degrees. So, using the first equality we will get magnitude of F 1 which works out to 7.32 kilo Newton and that is our answer. Using the second equality we will get magnitude of the component F 2 and that works out to 5.18 kilo Newton and that is our answer and we are done. Let us take up another problem which is slightly different. Here in this problem we are given two lines M and L and the angle between them is 45 degrees. We are given a force of 400 Newton. We do not know the direction of this force with respect to any of the lines. In other words, we have to determine the angle alpha so that the component of this force along line M is 240 Newton. So, as usual, we will construct a force triangle by drawing a line parallel from the tip of the force parallel to line L like this and construct the force triangle in which one side will represent the given force and the two sides would be the components of the force F. This component F 1 along line M is 240 Newton. So, we know the magnitude of F 1. So, in this triangle we know this angle 45 degrees because this line is parallel to this line and this line intersects it. Therefore, this angle would be equal to this angle and, and equal to 45 degrees. We do not know alpha which is same as this angle of the triangle. Now, we can apply the sine rule and it says sine of this angle upon the opposite side which is 240 is equal to sine of this angle upon the opposite side which is 400. Therefore, sine alpha would be 0.424 and alpha would work out to 25.1 degrees. Now, we know two angles alpha and this angle is already known. Therefore, we can work out the magnitude of this angle which will work out to 109.9 degrees and again using the sine rule sine of this angle upon the opposite side F 2 is equal to sine of 45 degrees upon the opposite side which is 400 and this equation would simplify to F 2 equal to 532 Newton which is the desired answer. And therefore, the, the force should make an angle of 25.1 degrees with the line L so that the component along the line M would be 240 Newtons and the second component would be of 532 Newton and that is it. So, thank you for watching and if you like the video do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.